Today, we will answer a geometry challenge. And here's the question. So first, let's have a parallelogram. Now let's draw some segments like this, two diagonals and these two segments like this. Now the area of this region simply equal to six square units and the area of this region is equivalent to 15 square units. Now the question is what is the area of this triangle represented as X? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in three. Two, one. All right. So given this parallelogram, by the way, this is not drawn to scale. So given this figure, the goal is to find the exact value of this area represented as x. Now to answer this kind of question is, of course, we will use some concept. But before that, let's call this region, this middle part, be equal to a. Area. So we have two unknown variables here. Now using this concept, we can now answer this question. So diagonal cut the quadrilateral into four triangles of which one opposite pair have equal areas. In this figure, we can say that this N is equivalent to M. All right. Now the product of the areas of two triangles formed by one diagonal equals the product of the areas of two triangles formed by the other diagonal. So in this figure, we can say that the product of n times m is equivalent to the product of area s times area t. So using these two concepts, we will answer this question. So first, let's use the first concept wherein given this trapezoid, we can say that these two regions have the same area. So in our figure, n equivalent to m. So since this is a plus 6, this area is 6 plus a or a plus 6. Next, since we have a parallelogram and cuts by two diagonals, we can say that this parallelogram is divided into four triangles with the same area. So we can say that these two triangles have the same area. So this screen is 15 plus 6 plus a or simply equal to 21 plus a so this blue triangle is also 21 plus a this is the same thing as this triangle so this triangle measures 21 plus a also since we have here 6 so we have here this region this triangle have an area of 15 plus a now these two triangles have the same area so this is 21 plus a so this triangle is also 21 plus a. We have here a and x. So this region, this small triangle is 21 minus x. So when we add these three together, we get 21 plus a. All right. Now, let's focus on this second concept. So using this trapezoid, so the product of this green region is equivalent to the product of this orange region. So we can say that x multiplied by a plus 27 is equivalent to a plus 15 raised to the power of 2. All right? So we can now have the value of x in terms of a. So we can say that x is equivalent to a plus 15 raised to the power of 2 all over a plus 27. So now, let's set aside this result. Now let's use another trapezoid. So using the same concept. We can say that 21 minus x, this region, this orange region, times a plus 36 is equivalent to a plus 6 raised to the power of 2. Now, similarly, divide both sides by a plus 36. We have 21 minus x equals a plus 6 squared all over a plus 36. Now, add x on both sides. So, we get that 21 equals a plus 6 squared all over a plus 36 plus x. Now, we know the value of x in terms of a. x is a plus 15 squared all over a plus 27. So we can replace this x with its value consisting of a. Now, we have an equation involving a. There's no x in this equation. So we cannot solve for the value of a. So let's focus first on this result because after finding the value of a, we can now find the value of x. So let's focus on this equation. 
And what we're going to do, this is not geometry, this is pure algebra. So we will do some calculations and simplifications. So first, let's simplify a plus 6 squared and a plus 15 squared. a squared plus 12a plus 36 and a squared plus 30a plus 225. Next, let's multiply both sides by the product of a plus 36 and a plus 27 to eliminate this denominator. And what we're going to do is to simplify this, just multiply. So 21 times a plus 36 times a plus 27, we get this. And if we multiply a squared plus 12a plus 36 times a plus 27, we get this expression. And a squared plus 30a plus 25 times a plus 36, we get this expression on the bottom part. Next, simplify and combining like terms, we get 0 equals 2a cubed plus 84a squared plus 342a minus 11,340. So using some simplification and combining like terms, we arrive at this cubic equation involving A. And now divide all of this term by 2 because all of these are even. And we arrive at 0 equals A cubed plus 42A squared plus 171A minus 5,670. Now let's focus on this result. So using our techniques to factor this, we can use synthetic division, continuous synthetic division, can use long method division for sure. And now after using those methods to factor this cubic equation, we arrive at a minus 9 multiplied by a plus 21 multiplied by a plus 30. In a sense, we get that a is equivalent to 9, a equals 21, negative 21, and a equals negative 30. So we found 3 possible values for a. Now going back to our figure. Now this a represents an area of this figure. So a cannot be a negative number. So a equals negative 21 is eliminated and a equals negative 30 is also not accepted. So the only thing that's left is a equals 9. Therefore we can say that a this area is equivalent to 9 square units. Now at this point, let's find the value of x. So a while ago, using this trapezoid, we can say that x is equivalent to a plus 15 squared all over a plus 27 using the second concept. And we know a is 9. So we can replace all of this a with 9. Now, x is equivalent to 9 plus 15 squared or simply equal to 24 squared and the denominator is 36. Now, 24 on the numerator, we can replace this with 24 times 24. And this 36, we know this is 6 times 6. And 24 is 4 times 6. Now, we can now eliminate 6 and 6 on the numerator and denominator because this is just 1. And we arrive at x equals 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 simply equal to 16. Therefore, the exact value of x in our figure simply equal to 16 square units. Therefore, given this figure, the area of this region represented as x is simply equivalent to 16 square units. And as always, we are done.